Hey everyone, my name is Jeremiah Mail, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator video. Um, today we actually do have quite a lot of stuff to do on our list. I mean, it shouldn't really be too hard. Um, you know, a lot of it is just small stuff, but, you know, sometimes I have to have that um, information written down just so I know to do it in the video. So, um, uh, first things first, before I do anything, I want to show you this new... Uh, well, it's not new, it's been out since the game's, game's been out, and it's mostly due to Giants um, having some issues with, like, the... Not exactly co economy, but, like, pricing. So, like, when you buy land... When you sell it, it is the exact same price as when you bought it. So really, when you buy and sell land, you're not get. Oh, there's no exact, uh, there's no exact gain. And wow, not even like a minute in the video, and I have already tipped over my, my. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what that thing is called. But either way, it's tipped over. Let's go ahead and fix that right now. Um, by ramming a tractor into it, that should work. But um, today, um, I want to show you, you this uh, thing where you buy land that that has a, a crop on it, right? Then you harvest the crop, then you go sell the crop, then sell the land. You have no loss at all. Um, well, when, when you sell the land, you don't have any, lo any, like, any loss. In, in a sense, you actually have more money because you are getting the money from that harvest so um, I want to do that not exactly you know I don't want to really be doing that as gameplay but I want to do that just to prove that it is really well possible um, so of course I won't be doing this a whole lot but I have tested it I mean that's why I have all that money I haven't really actually I haven't gr grown much stuff actually between videos I've been doing a lot of like like basic maintenance around the farm and getting rid of more grass and more stuff like that. Um, I've also actually, um, um, I ran the, uh, what is it called? Uh, this right here. Um, I've, I've ran the landscaping tool and I've gotten rid of like a lot more of the grass and stuff, like the grass, grass patches and around here, which it looks so much better. And also I bought a well. Um, and at night, since the ground is damn near impossible to see, I decided I'm going to out also add lights. These do come on at night, and the only issue I have seen with these is that these are actually so bright, and it gets kind of laggy at night. So, I mean, it's not, you know, detrimental. It's not going to ruin the video, but it, it, but you can notice a, like, frame drop. Um, but... Um, anyway, uh, I also, I also bought this, not exactly as, like, you know, I want to use this, but, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm, if you guys, if you guys have watched my FS17 videos, I wanted to do a, like, a, a retro farming, um, series, and I still think that is a cool idea, it's just, there's not enough mods out there yet, but once they have enough mods out there, then I, then I want to do that, just because, um, also, I just want to clarify, I leased this, so, um, there we go, there we go, um, no, um, I, I, I didn't want to purchase it, then have to sell it, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I think the retro farming thing wouldn't be a bad idea, it's just, of course, since I'm on console, I'm confined to the mod menu that has been provided by Giants. Which isn't actually that bad, but of course, you know, we have to wait for people to create those mods. Um, also, I want to try and actually, you know, go back to the way I was doing in FS17 and be slightly more realistic. So, me, I, I have to actually go over to the vehicles uh, in instead of teleporting. Unless, of course, if, let's say, I buy something, then I go up there to move it, then, you know, I don't want to walk back to the shop, so I might teleport for those long distant, uh, long distant things, but, but I'm not going to be teleporting just to get from a tractor that's on, on maybe the other side of the farm, that would just kind of be impractical, or I mean, it, it, it would be unnecessary, so right now I'm just waiting for, um, for these weeds to, like, grow on the entire field, just, just because, for some reason, like I said, there's, like, this weird, field glitch where only half the field grows, although I planted it all at the same time, and I don't appreciate 
my buggy thingy tipping on its side all the time. But it happens. I've also smoothed out some of the land so, you know, I won't be ramping up on my tractors. Uh, I haven't removed that tree over there. I've not done that. Um, I, I think you guys are officially all caught up. Um, but today we do have plans to buy a tractor. And also, um, I do have plans that, um, I want to, uh, pay off my loans, but, but it seems like I want to continue getting more loans just so I can continue buying more stuff. Um, and, and paying off that loan, I don't want, I really don't want to be doing on camera just because then I have other things to buy. So if I ever, if I, if I, if I ever have a, less of a loan and I have less money or something or more money that just means I've been doing a lot of work off camera uh, just so you guys you know don't have to uh, suffer through me continuously doing the same things over and over also uh, and this ticks me off just because uh, they cheated me out of some money this right here wait a minute I don't know if it went away or if I paid it off, but e either way, th there was an issue with with the with the jobs. Like for for some reason, w when I was har harvesting some guy's crops, for some reason it wouldn't allow me to sell those crops, and like, and, and like toward the end of the job. I couldn't complete it because I couldn't sell the crops. So then I ended up quitting the job um, just because I don't want to be stuck in the job forever. And I ended up running into the issue of now this guy wants me to pay for the lost crops. And I'm like, how how can I pay this off now? Because I don't have the money for it. So I'm like, oh, my guy. So then I then I just didn't pay it for the longest time, and I don't even know if I actually paid it or not. Um, uh, just because, like, uh, uh, since I've been doing what uh, the people in the, in the farming sim commu community call um, field flipping, where, you know, you buy the land, you harvest it, then you sell it back. Um, uh, ever since I've been doing that, I've been making a little bit more money. Not a whole lot, but obviously it is slightly more money, and um, I'm not losing any money just because when you sell the land back like i said no drop in value at all but um, um i plan to actually do that with this current field over here let me get in here okay this uh, uh these three fields over here oh, let's get back on the road <clears throat> these three fields right here are all the same type they're barley um and i would like to buy each one at a time and i would like to collect to the harvest off of these and uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. Let's get into that. Uh, and as you can see, they are all at the same growing stage as far as I know. I think so. Um, I mean, yeah. So, so they'll obviously be all done at the same time. So, you know, I'll be able to d do this properly without having to wait. And I don't see a loss to this just because... Um, my crops have to grow, so this will kill the time why, the, why these ones are growing. And for field 23, um, I basically did the, I did the, the manipulation, or, or, it's not even a glitch, but, but I did the, um, uh, uh, field flipping on field 23, gained a little bit extra money, not a whole lot, obviously, but the price of one field. And now with, uh, 21, 22, and 18, since these fields are obviously way bigger than, than my fields over here on the farm, these wouldn't actually be bad to harvest. And I don't know how you guys will think of this, but I think this is a good thing to test out. And, and, and like, I mean, I might do it off camera just so I can pay off that loan slowly, because there's no way I'm going to be able to do animals if I have a huge ass loan. Um, okay, so um, I also want to... Um, I want to buy a field officially, which might be actually 23, and of course, uh, 23 is not actually terrible terrain-wise, so if I wanted to, I could expand out out that land, um, or I mean, expand out that field. So let's actually go over and I can show you uh, that field, because I mean, you guys have probably already seen it, um, but you know, for the ones who haven't, or... or you know, or if I didn't show you, then obviously here it is. I did it again. Okay, there, there we go. Now, if I if I 
wanted to, I could expand out this field a whole lot more, actually. Um, I think the, like, closest this field gets to the road is over here. So, sadly, I, um, I mean, I, I mean, if I, if I wanted to, I could actually have the field come out at an angle and almost follow the road, but not, you know, not like, no, I would make it, of course, in, in a near straight line because of all this land over here. Since there's so much land over here that's being unused, then turning it into kind of like this trapezoid-like shape wouldn't be uh, that bad, that much of a bad idea, just because we could be almost doubling um, the field itself. Maybe more than doubling. Oh, hi. How are you? Well, someone has a solar panel. Nice. I'm guessing uh, uh, they need water. And your tub is empty. Nice. Oh, and I just teleported. Teleported. My bad. But anyway, yeah. Um, I plan to actually buy this field. Not field flip the field. I plan to actually buy it. But I want to buy it when there's a crop on there. Just so I can harvest it and make some of that money back when I do buy it. Um, of course, we have to save. Okay, so um, I also plan to buy a tractor. Um... Uh, the reason uh, why for uh, the reason why for the tractor is because I want to have a front loader attacher just um, uh, uh, just so I can actually you know do more um, involving the pallets just because I I'm debating if I should turn off the pallets because in a sense it's going to be harder on me but it also adds more realism and it is easier for me to keep track of my money that way so you know in case it in case, it, if let's say hypothetically, um, uh, one, one of my workers is fertilizing and they get caught on something, they're not turning off that fertilizer. And depending on on what is fertilizing, it, you know, it's going to continuously run. Then I'm going to end up wasting a lot more money, not only paying the worker but also for the fertilizer. But but you know, if they were to let's say, uh, they could run out of fertilizer if I have the buy uh, if I have the um, auto buy fertilizer off. <clears throat> So, you know, um, uh, let me check here. Uh, so, um, I do, I do want to buy a tractor with a, uh, with a, a front loader, um, attacher. Then I want to buy a fork, uh, and also, uh, one of those, sh not shovels, like, uh, you know, it's the thing, it's the thing, that, uh, the thing that can scrape up stuff. Um, then I want to lease or buy a baler, then a bale trailer, but I don't want to get the auto automated one just because that one's really expensive. And if I tried, I can get, I, I can use a front loader, um, and a fork and a bale and, you know, put it onto a basic flat, tra flatbed trailer, which, you know, obviously would be the cheapest, um, most convenient thing. Um, also, uh, pick up straw and baler, um, which I think, I don't know if our current harvest is allowed to do that, because in the previous one, it was, but, uh, oh, soybeans, so, no, um, we'll be doing that in the next video, um, so in this video, uh, we won't have anything to pick up on the fields, uh, but, uh, I might buy, no, actually, I, I'm debating on 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 buying field twenty three now because I could convert it into a grass field. Then you know I could fertilize it. Then that's what makes the grass field uh, uh different from the other grass across the entire map is the fact that this can be more pl plant pl uh plenish for like it would be worth more just because there'll be more grass. Um, so you you know it's not a bad idea. Um, but anywho. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually wait, expel, uh, next field, expand field 29. Okay, uh, I want to do that, uh, but first I need to get the proper tractor to do that because um, we're, we're going to get the front loader attacher, then we're going to get a weight to put on the back, then we're going to have, th then we're, we're going to pick up the trees and we're just going to push them into the river. I'm kind of sick of chopping trees and selling them, um, and for how laggy it gets sometimes, it's like, no offense, but it, it, it gets really impractical. So I will be happy to 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 buy a tractor, uh, a strong enough tractor to to deal with to deal with um of uh, the trees. We just have, like I said, we just have to get one 
that it, that um is able to actually you know uh pick up the trees without tipping itself over. Now, if I have to, of course, I can cut the trees, but my goal is to not cut cut the trees as much. Now, this tractor right here, the Massey Ferguson set um uh seven seven zero zero five, uh this one actually, um is, um, oh my. Oh, oh my, I hate myself. Okay, I was looking at gas instead of, like, like work. Um, okay, never mind. Hold on. Okay. Alright, much better. Okay, this makes a lot more sense, because I, I was looking at them, and I was like, why are these tractors so strong? Jesus. But, nope, never mind, it makes sense now. Okay. Alright, so let me go over here. Um, now, um... Uh, the Voltra isn't actually a bad one. Uh, now, uh, I don't think I don't think that price is really worth it. But if we increase the engine power, then obviously it might end up being worth it. See, not terrible. Um, how much though is it now? Not definitely not as bad. Uh, of course, we want the front loader attacher. Um, we don't want to. I'm, I don't want to exactly change the collar. I want to have wheel weights. Now, is that in the front and back? Yes, all right, great. Just because, like, um, uh, because you know, I don't want to have the you know tractor tip over, uh, once I have the tree picked up. Okay, so let's get these back to wheel weights. Okay, there we go. Wide tires. Yeah, why not? Because we don't have crop destruction on. Now let's go ahead and change the color of our vehicle. Uh, the most the, the all. Okay, that's just tires. All right, never mind. I mean, still looks decent, but no. Now, if I do this, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, like that. All right. Now, ooh, do I do I really do? Oh, okay. You know what? We're not going to do that just because I have to actually be able to afford the field before I can flip the field. Uh, um, so you know. Like for example, uh, field twenty two is like the like I'm scraping by with only eight thousand dollars left to pay for my worker to work that field. So you know what? Let's not buy the tractor yet, just because of how expensive it's going to be. And I'm like, oh my god, oh Jesus, those tractors, my lord. And of course, I could lease, but I, I don't want to do that. See, like I really want to expand out this field just for how big it is and for how much we can we can expand it. It's just these trees are really in the way, and it's really annoying that I can't expand out because of the dumb trees. Now, if I spent the time to chop down chop down the trees and deal with the glitches and lag and stuff, then you know they would be gone. But I just can't stand it. So of course we're uh, we're gonna hold off expanding field 19 for another video. But, um, you know what, let me go ahead and actually fast forward time right now, just because, um, I want to go ahead and start, um, uh, field flipping as soon as possible. Okay, I, I like how I have on my FS19 to-do list finished tree work, but all the tree work is is pushing, um, the trees into the lake. Um, uh, sell... Sell, sold land harvest. Oh, oh, um, uh, that's talking about the current like fields that I haven't even gotten uh, started working on. But um, um, also if I if I wanted to, I could do jobs uh, involving the harvest again. But like I said, I'm kind of scared to actually do the jobs because for some reason, um, uh, every now and then the things kind of glitch out and, and you know i don't want to be the one having to pay for the losses to um uh, you know i don't i don't want i don't want to be paying for the losses um uh uh if, if the game decides to glitch out or not so obviously i might not i might not do these anymore um or at least until i can confirm whether or whether or not uh whether or or wh whether or not they're going to do uh do it again cuz you know if I know that the glitch has been fixed, then obviously I'll be happy to do the jobs. But if I, if they haven't confirmed whether the jobs have been completely fixed, then obviously that's going to going to be concerning for me because I, because I'm I don't want to be losing money. 
So the goal is, is you know, obviously not to lose money, and the goal is, is to not lose money due to a error in the developers, uh, you know, on the developers' end, such as you know that glitch. Obviously, it doesn't destroy you or your farm or anything like that, but it does really set you back. And d depending on at what phase you are on your farm, you know, that could really be detrimental. Uh, okay, so here we are. Uh, like I said, I d I'm fast, for fast forwarding time just so, you know, we don't have to wait for, um, uh, or, well, yeah, just so, uh, so we don't have to wait. Because... Wait, hold on. Let me actually slow this down. Oh, can I weed the farm yet? I'll weed the farm. There we go. Now, I think we can officially weedy this field. There we go. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and do that. Then, I'll fast forward time. So, you know what? I will be right back. I will be right back yet. Okay, so now, of course, our guy is going to be working this field. Um, and, of course, you know, since it's ours, you know... I don't have to give anyone else the grain, but myself. Now, um, I think, I'm not even sure, but I think I have to actually put the grain away, um, let's say inside the silo, uh, before I can actually, uh, sell the field, because I think, uh, the, uh, grain becomes valuable or maybe that was also a glitch, because, like, for, for some reason, like I said, this game still has so many different glitches, and I think that the developers port of Bethesda and rely on their modders for everything now. So it's like, you know, I really don't even know what's going on. But, you know, still, still an amazing game, but, you know, the more you play it, the more you realize that there are, are things wrong with this game. But, you know, uh, me being a big um, farming simulator nerd, um, like... I play it for long periods of time, and when you notice there's something wrong, it's like, it really stands out to you, and it really bothers you, because you're thinking, I spend hours doing this one thing, just to find out I'm not going to make any money from it now. Or, or you think, now I just spent all this time doing this just to make no money this single time and you and, and like and like sometimes that one time is the only only time you're going to make that that amount of money like if there's a sale or something or not a sale like a demand for a grain and you didn't get anything from it because the game decided to glitch it's things like those that really really bother me and i think that that giants um kind of failed and and, and i think they're still failing um when it comes to updates now like if it's just a lack of people are informing the um, giants about this, then obviously I can understand that, because how are you going to know to fix something if you don't know it's broken? But, um, uh, I want to actually get in touch, uh, you know, not with them personally or something, I, you, you know, I don't want to have their personal conversations or anything, but I want to, like, send the feedback and I want to give them some, some, you know, issues that are sometimes reoccurring or happening, um, just so they can fix it, but honestly, I don't know whether, um, whether, uh, Giants is, is, like, you know, really working to make this, um, or, or, like, you know, fix it, because it seems like they seem to be working on the computer side of things instead of the console, uh, version, you know, they make the, con they make the console version and make people happy, but I think the major majority, um, of people are usually on computer. Now, um, actually, uh, you know what, uh, ooh, okay, actually, let me see what I can do right now. Uh, can we, okay, we can increase our loan just by a little bit, now we have $17,000, oh, I don't have much money, that's my problem. Now, you know, I won't, I won't be able to actually, uh, pick up the harvest for this field, but you know we can go ahead and do it on another field That's not so expensive because you know when I purchased this right here um, I also bought all the extra land around it, but if I if I buy this one then I'm not you know I'm only buying the field it's only, it's only slightly smaller than this one, but you know this one gets less extra land around it so you know um, um I'll go ahead and uh, get into uh, <laughs> my grain, uh, my, my grain tractor, and we're gonna go ahead and collect the grain. Then I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just let this guy finish the field, and, you know, really, 
I think I might as well just uh, end the video here and have like the second part to this, or like you know a maybe I might think about put, uh, having a like a a second part you know for me to add in, and so you know the video is a little bit longer. But I think that this video is decent at the time it is, and for you guys it might only be about 20 minutes. Uh, although I am coming at like 43 minutes right now. 42, I was right. I was close. Sorry, I'm going off of my watch, which is always kind of weird and off. But either way, um, um, I'm thinking like, well, um, the video might end up actually being short just for how much stuff I might end up actually cutting out. But really... Um, it wasn't, it wasn't ter terrible, but, you know, uh, a lot of the stuff is really a lot of things that could be done off a of camera, uh, but not exactly done off a of camera where it's not being captured. It's more of, like, done off a of camera where I just cut it out of the video. So if I wanted to, I could, um, y you know, I could stop the video here, then add in the second part, which I might consider doing, but then that would mean the video comes out a day later. Uh, and although... Um, I, I am not recording every single day and uploading every single day. I am trying to at least keep some form of system until I can get back into the day-to-day -day basis of recording. Which, I don't even know what happened to that. Just one day I just didn't record, and after that I just didn't record again. Then, you know, I was like, oh, well, I took a break, and then since I did, it's just I never bounced back up into the day-to-day -day thing. And I'd like to get back into that habit just because I always thought it was a good habit to have. You know, it kind of taught me some time management. So, you know, um, uh, I am uh, I am trying, at least, to, to keep my uh, schedule, and I am going to try and record every single day. I'm not going to say I'm going to. Because I can't promise you that. I can't even promise myself that yet. But I want to really actually, I want to try and put in the effort and record every day again. Um, I, I want to do Farming Sim every other day just because I, I'm really into it again. Um, you know, sometimes I, I go through the gaming phases of like, oh, I want to, you know, do intensive games. Then other times I want to do like a, re a relaxing kind of game or something. So, of course, you know, me, um, you might get farming farming sim every other day. You might be getting like let's say Minecraft one day, farming sim, then Sea of Thieves, then farming sim. You know, I mean unless if you really don't like farming simulator, but I really do, and you know, it's just one of those games that you can oh, smack my mic. It, it, it's one of those games that you can sit back and relax and maybe listen to music or something when you're not recording, of course. Okay, guys, so I'm back, um, and I actually got. Uh, let me go over here. I got field 22 finished. So now, as you can see down here at the bottom, um, uh, for $280,000, um, uh, that is my current land value. Uh, that is the exact amount that I had paid for it. So now when I sell it, I'm going to now have that money back. And now, I, not only do I have that money back, but I also have the grain back. Um, and people are messaging me. Wow, my friends... Oh, never mind. Okay, YouTube notifications. All right, I hate that. Okay, now we're gonna buy this. We're gonna steal the the harvest off of this land. Then we're gonna sell this for the exact same price again. Um, okay, so you know what? I'll be right back again. Um, but uh, the reason why you guys didn't get recording recording yesterday is because I wanted to extend it out as long as I can. Uh, with this, you know, because I uh, I didn't actually do a lot in that um video. I I did a lot of like, uh, I did this m mostly. Like I was just w I was waiting for my harvester to get finished. Now I should have leased a harvester, but at the same time, um, I think. I think that would have dropped the the value in the in the um, harvest, or it wouldn't drop the va value in the harvest, but but how much money I would get in return would only be like microscopic, maybe only like two, three, may maybe five thousand dollars if I'm lucky. So I decided I'll go ahead and stick with my current current um, harvester. I mean, it might take longer, but I am I uh, I'm going to be getting at least some value. Now, um, see. Like I said, I wouldn't be doing this much for gameplay purposes. I just want to I just want to show you guys this cuz I seen it in a YouTube video and also because uh, I kind of want to 
I kind of want, want to speed up the process of making money because this kind of gets old after a while and plus um, I'm not good with time management so obviously I'm not playing the game as long or I'm not recording as often so you know this will definitely help me get more recordings out or at least more interesting recordings. So, uh, hopefully in this video, I, uh, I can sell my harvest. Um, I want to actually, uh, you know, uh, harvest everything today, uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll be happy to go and sell that. Um, and I don't know if you guys will even see how much money I make, f make from that, but obviously, as you can see right here, I have... Eleven eleven thousand dollars in barley right now, and let me go ahead and put this in my calculator Okay, um, 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 and s since we're doing it based off of w every thousand we wouldn't put eleven thousand dollar or eleven thousand in grain We would just put eleven then you can put point if you want to be exact, but I don't want to be exact I just want to have a number okay the highest price is at the ranch at uh, uh, for 646 there we go okay so I'll make seven thousand dollars not a whole lot but also cheaper than buying the land keeping the land then maintaining maintaining it by you know fertilizing it by paying for the lime by plowing and also for planting so really I mean this is definitely a cheat, but at the same time, it's not because, obviously, if it was a cheat, it wouldn't be in the game. Um, but that's mostly due to um, uh, giants. Giants haven't fixed, really, the economy yet. And I hope they don't, because this is not... This isn't really bad, because I feel like this is a real thing that can happen. It's just, I don't think it would happen. But at the same time, someone's bound to have done it at one point or another. Oh yeah, hey, also guys, um, this is what the lights look like. Um, I don't have them all over the farm, I just have them over here in the, like, crucial areas. Um, just to make it easier, e easier on myself when going in and out of the farm. I might end up actually adding one on the main road, but it's not really that bad. Like I said, they're not a crucial thing, but, you know, they are nice to have, just so I don't have to keep relying on my lights and so I can see further. Well, me harvester is needing to be emptied, so I'm going to go ahead and get over here and empty it. You know, pretty normal farmer stuff, right? I'm just going to go ahead and pull in right here and wait for it to stop. Just because moving alongside it is going to get really annoying. Um, I can tell you that for sure. Um, and I don't like slow, like you know slowing down my cruise control because I, sometimes I forget that I don't ha have it you know set to normal speed. And I'll go to my map and I'll realize that it's not you know. Uh, it's fullest and I'll just start moving really slow and I'm like well I've gone nowhere and I could have been you know you know down the road by now but you know I mean um, I think w waiting for them to stop is is really the, the, the best idea just because it's it doesn't take that long you know I mean and it d doesn't cost me that much May maybe a few bucks extra you know to pay the employee Okay, so, um, I do want to actually go over, uh, some mods that I want to get, and, uh, some things I can't wait to actually have, um, I can't wait for when console, consoles get Seasons mod. I, I, I've always liked the Seasons mods, or Seasons mod, and, and I think that, that, that is going to add a whole nother level of difficulty. I've heard that they've been adding in new, new stuff that wasn't in the previous one, um, and I like that. Um, 
And with the Seasons mod um, being added, I want to also add another Farming Sim series. I mean, in a sense, I don't want to have a Farming Sim channel, but I really do like the game, like I said. Um, so, you know, um, if I was to do a Farming Sim channel, I might end up actually branching it off of the main one and do, you know, my other games on, you know, the current one you guys are watching and have a Farming Sim dedicated channel. But, um, um, uh, uh, that w once they get the seasons mod in, I want to all I want to also do a retro farming kind of series. Uh, so I might end up mixing the seasons mod and the re retro farming, and, and I want to see if I can actually make that work. Uh, and I'm going to do that one like as serious and as like like you know as real realistic as possible. With uh, for example. I will disable all the auto buys. You know, I don't want to buy all these things. I'll, um, I'll have um, weeds on, of course. I'll have um, lime required, uh, periodic plowing. I will have crop destruction on. I will have engines, automatic engines start off. Um, I'll have traffic on just because traffic's annoying and I think that will really add a whole nother level of difficulty and I'll have the economy on hard mode so you know I definitely think that that will add a whole nother level of difficulty to the game and I think that would be a good test for me now I can't guarantee that I will do a retro farming I might you know let's say start out with some old tractors and stuff because they, they'll be cheap but of course, I don't want to um, do retro farming if there's not enough equipment to actually do it with. Because in FS17, I could. I could do retro farming because the, um, there was a mod that had all kinds of different tractors and old retro tools and equipment. Now, if they put that in, in 19, then I'll be happy to do a retro farming like thing. But, you know, right now, uh, can't do that. But doing a, a, a as real as possible um uh, uh survival farming series wouldn't be a bad idea um you know um so i'll do it as realistic as possible according to the game then the seasons mod will add a whole nother level of difficulty and you know that's when i think i will be put to the test in my farming sim like in my farming sim knowledge and that's why I kind of want to get through this series uh, I mean not get through it like I'm trying to rush it But like this is why I want to do this series so I can learn and I can understand how the game works me like mechanical wise so when I do the um, Seasons I, I I'm not making big money mistakes cuz you know I'm only making money one time a year while it, while you know through the rest of it I'm losing money because I have to pay for maintenance and stuff now I hope they have fixed fixed that in the seasons mod or the you know soon to be seasons mod for this game but um, honestly like I said I have no idea what's in store for consoles um, I've been like l I've been looking stuff up and as far as I know they're just you know doing um, they're doing console not exactly like updates but they're like you know changing it to make it possible for console players to use so you know only time will tell when it does come out they did the pl they did plan to have it out like sometime in September but I'm guessing that was kind of pushed back obviously um, since it's not out yet uh, but anyway like I said I want this series to be the series where I learn how the this game works although it isn't much different from Farming Sim 17. Uh, there are some glitches and some things that I do want to understand and I want to learn, and some new mechanics that that you know were, weren't as emphasized or you know as serious in 17 that are really you know serious in this game. So um, uh, I want that guy to finish up on the. Um, on this field just because I um, I mean you guys ha have already seen the process of how I buy the field um, you know switch it over then sell it so really like if I wanted to I could just end the video like officially here because earlier in the first like part one or you know however I file it on my computer um, I did actually end it 
and I and I, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and like you know cut that outro out just so you guys you know can see all that see all this. Now, um, in the next video, I do actually have a lot more plans. Um, I do have like actual serious plans. Um, I do actually plan to buy a field, um, like. You know, to keep as my own, and I will be. I will be using it as a grass field. Um, I want to plant the grass on the field, like I said. Uh, I want to start baling bales and selling the bales, just because I feel like that can give me some extra money. Because you already know that canola and wheat, although different prices, there's more. There's more wheat, so that's why it's a lower price. Then there's less canola so there's there, there's more of a demand for it but they end up equal equaling each other out you know over time but um with barley and wheat and uh anything that allows uh there to be loose loose straw um i am able to sell the bales which actually you know creates this like extra finances or, or or you know this extra income that you know it has that is being wasted if I were to not collect it. now you know if I'm only bailing one field it might not be worth it because renting you know the baler and stuff but if let's say if I have all the fields like as barley or wheat fields then obviously it's going to be really worth it but anyway um here let me go ahead and get into my harvester all right um, okay, so it seems like, th um, everything seems to be working fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do all this boring farming stuff off camera, and I'm going to actually skip a few, uh, a few, um, harvest, harvests, harvests, um, just, you know, so you guys don't have to continuously see the same thing over and over, because so far you guys have not seen any animal stuff, and I think you guys would uh, really appreciate that. Um... And, um, I hate to keep coming back to different things, but, um, or I hate to keep coming back, coming back to stuff, but, um, if I was to do the as real as possible, uh, thing with the seasons mod, I would call it farming, farming simulator, A-R-A-P, so it would be, um, farming sim, a rap, or as real as possible, um, and, you know, obviously the goal is to be as realistic as realistic as humanly possible. And I think that I can really, really manage it. It's just, for the first few videos, it's going to be really hard to, you know, get out of the habit of, you know, not driving through the fields like an idiot. Which I, I still do that, like, now. But anyway, um, I might as well go ahead and end the video here. I want to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, I do really appreciate it. My name is Jeremiah Mail, and this has been Farming Simulator 2019, and I will see you guys all later. Have a fantastic day.